Welcome back, Kingsman, to another NTW3 video. Today, we have a 4v4 on Montebello. Now, this is the French advancing against a Prussian, although Prussia actually looks like they're scouting here with some light cab already. But yeah, um, French attacking Montebello, the Prussians out in front with a Russia up in the heights. Now, this is a beautiful defensive position here. If you can see the high ground, you got buildings. I mean, look at this. They command, I mean, there's some high ground on the French side, but they command the high ground and a town with a natural um, defensive barrier of a river. This is supposed to be simulating a river. And like, it's just, it's just a perfect defensive position for the coalition here. Um, the other reinforcing armies, another Prussia and a Sweden I'm going to be pushed up to reinforce, but this is a 10-point um, Russia and a either 9-7 or 10-point Prussia. I guess we'll find out um, pretty soon here. I suspect it's the 10-pointer, and they have some heavy cav to defend their position. Now, the French, there is an 8-point Espana, uh, and they're the ones in the front. <clears throat> there is a 11-point France, Russia center. A 8 point France Egypt and then a 9 point France Flanders now for the 11 pointer they have a good mixture of elite guard units and grenadiers mixed with a lot of of just line infantry and then they have some trilliers to back up the army here so a good mix up um, as well as cavalry of course you have uh, Hussars, Dragoons, there's some skirmishers up here as well. I'm curious what the Prussians are planning on doing. They do hold this hill, but I strongly suspect they are retreating. As you can see, you can hear the drums. They are running away. Not a bad strategy. I mean, this is a way better defensive position here. They have artillery that will command this position. And you can see the howitzers already firing for Russia. Now, they have these LLC, which I guarantee you they're going to take um, another. This is a really tough one to attack. You got to push across the river. Um, if they have any good quality infantry shooting and then some infantry up here, as well as some infantry maybe over here, it's going to be a tough one. I am curious to see how the French are going to approach this, how they're going to attack this, because it is going to be, they have their work cut out for them today, and they have to be quick, in my opinion, um, before the reinforcing armies get here, Sweden is quite far away, guys. They are a at least 10-minute march, and in 10 minutes, a lot can happen. Uh, granted, they probably will take this road. I'm not sure if they're going to take this road. It's a straight shot over Prussia. The other Prussian army is going to take this left side of the town um, that has a river. I mean, they could push across. They could hold this side. Maybe they're going to reinforce, push troops across this bridge and pour it to the town. Um, I'm sure they're going to mass up Prussian and Russian artillery in the center here. So, yeah, like I said, really curious how this fight is going to happen. How they're going to advance. Oh, howitzers blasting away here. Now, they have not really taken out a whole lot. We have Suchet marching behind his men trying to inspire them he's like we gotta take this man come on <laughs> as you can see the town the the buildings kind of highlighting the skyline here with the tree line and the french forces pushing forward here they're probably gonna try scouting a little bit and maybe they can catch the prussians before they get across the river if they push their cab a tad bit aggressively maybe they can get them because this prussian army is definitely on the retreat and uh, not really, uh, who knows how many squares they actually have. They do have their heavy cap defending. Um, France may try something, we will see. Um, the Russians sent forward some Cossacks, some Lancers, uh, but we have some good quality cap, like really good Dragoon unit that may actually go in here. Yep, they're gonna put an push an engagement Try to put as much pressure, but Prussia seems to be turning. I guarantee you that's a squareable. And this poor Cossack did not even get a charge, but watch out for that Prussian line firing. But we have a... What is this? We have a huge cav force, a huge presence. 
in the French back lines here. This is actually, wow. Five units of Lancers. I would fall these cavalry back. This is too small. You don't want to take an engagement. It's just quantity. Um, yeah, so they definitely took slight losses. And they seem to keep pressuring the Prussians, in my opinion. I mean, they are almost across. Prussia should just not stop. Get your cab, leave one or two squares. Get your cab across. You want to save, especially your heavy cab. There's three units of heavy cab. Just get them across. Get your artillery set up and get ready. Horse artillery on this side, too. Um, France is going to have a problem here. This is so much cab. We have Dragoons now for Prussia as well. Hussars. Or not Hussars. My apologies. Not Hussars. Just Lancers. Landwehr Lancers. Oh, these actually are not Landwehr Lancers. I think they're just regular Lancers. Um, but they are supported by Landwehr. Ulanen. And France is having to divert quite a bit of their infantry and cav, maybe. Some squares to defend this line. Because um, it looks like the coalition may try harassing this entire line of communication. Now, we do have the France Flanders. Um, oh, that's going to take them a minute to get up because they are walking along the river. But it looks like they may be trying to go to the left. Maybe they're just going to march to here and take this road up to reinforce. Now, France still advancing, still pushing forward. I don't think they're going to stop now. There's some stakes. They got to watch out that they don't walk a general or cav or artillery into those stakes. Be a huge loss. Uh, but yeah, things keep developing here. As the French... Uh, okay, they do have... They, they are prepared. They have their squares. They have infantry ready. These poor small sappers. But they are, they are fine, I would say. They are doing just fine. Nice defended position here. Russia obviously spent a decent amount on their cav. However, this is pretty cheap cav. The Lancers at least are. Um, Russian cav also making their appearance, and I think they are doing an excellent job. They seem to be really deceiving the Swedish cavs up. They seem to be wanting to really harass this side. And uh, it seems to be slowing down the French. Yeah, it is definitely slowing down the French. Um, it would not have been a bad idea for the uh, coalition to take one entire faction of Cav just to be able to harass the enemy and stop them from getting up before the rest of the reinforcements get into position or, you know, they get their artillery into position. The coalition wants to, I, I guarantee you, they are going to try to harass and stop, maybe even inflict some damage, not just slowing down the Imperials, but actually um, killing as much as they can. This Cav's going to do terribly in a line fight unless you can use it all at once it is just not going to do well that's just the nature of it i mean it looks very nice though i like the black uniforms he oh no mind well i like the black horse black hats blue oh man it's just a good combination of black blue and gold looks very nice uh cross years i would i would send my ulan in I would send my Lancers and pressure this across the air unit. Oh, the artillery. Such a huge unit of artillery. 120 men. Uh, there's the rest of it. That's why, yep. Well, I would I would definitely engage this. Um, uh, yeah, the, the Prussians are not going to win this fight. But they may inflict some heavy losses. Actually, across the airs. Oh, my goodness. Across the airs barely took any losses. And the French probably should have had one unit engaged when another ran around. They, they probably really wanted to guard this artillery. Didn't work too well. They did break one Chasser Cheval, or Hussar, sorry, that was 70 men. It was probably a terrible quality Hussar. Um, but yeah, the Prussians, that, that was a failed first attempt. Maybe should have waited. Maybe. Maybe should have waited for more cap pressure up here. But uh, the French still are advancing here. I think they're trying their best to ignore the coalition's cavalry pushing up. I've not seen a lot of artillery still firing. I can tell you this, guys. This 11-pointer is going to be probably acting the most punch here. One of the larger armies has a lot of infantry and a lot of good quality infantry mixed in. Some of those inspires. We also have Espana. Now they are hiding behind the hill. 
I'm not sure if they are going to attack this or if they are going to try to push a flank. I'm um, obviously, most likely, this is a speculation. I mean, okay, the coalition's all up. At this point, any rush that could have been maybe attempted isn't. And it, it's it's pretty hard to get your troops up in time. Like, if you attack, like, if, if they were attacking, they probably would have gotten swept back pretty quickly, unfortunately. Just because the coalition has such good positioning, and it may have thrown the battle. So, me saying that they're, they're, they lost their shot, and eh, it, it's debatable still. Um, sometimes it's best to just take a slower approach, which is what they're doing. And they may actually try pressuring this side. They do have... Uh, this this nine-point army is taking forever to slog along here. They do have a road, but they are taking their their time, unfortunately. Just the terrain is working against them. But they're getting there, and it does look like they're going to play the long haul here. Um, if nothing happens for a little bit, because it looks like maybe they're getting in position, and I know some of these players, it may take them a second to actually... Uh, get their attack launched which i mean it's the reason some people hate this mod and people love this mod at the same time and the reason i love this mod half the battle and a lot of people would agree with me on this half the battle is maneuvering getting your troops in the right position to then attack um which is why it is a hard consider a hardcore mod hardcore mode you know it takes a while troops move a little slow it's so realistic some people don't like it they like their arcadey side this side it is so much maneuvering and uh if anything, I'm just going to get a showcase that this nine-pointer is taking the long haul away, and we are just at an at what? Oh, this is exactly what I was saying. I was saying watch out for spikes, stakes. Always be on the lookout. Well, granted, hopefully you're in a VC with your you know teammates, and you can tell them, hey, watch out. There are some cheeky stakes here, and they are. Oh man, that killed their general. That is so unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. But yeah, what I was saying before is uh, this nine pointer is probably going to roll up here on the left flank and then push across. I'm curious to see if it works. I would love to see it work, but I may have to skip ahead, guys. If nothing happens until they march up, I'm going to skip ahead. So um, yeah, I'll check in in just a second here. All right, guys, we're back. So it took a little bit. There was a couple little skirmishes, Cap kind of. Prussian Cav and French Cav skirmishing. Both sides taking small losses. Cav running away. Um, but yeah, the, the, the both sides are still pushed up. We do have some French skirms that did push forward a little bit to kind of skirm. You can kind of see the French line or the Russian line getting out hit by artillery as they're set up. A lot of artillery hit in this direction. Also some artillery trying to go for counter battery. Um, I'll, some I'll say, and this is just friendly advice. Especially if the players are new uh, and they're watching, or any of you are new. Uh, the best way to get artillery to hit their target and also not light them up so that they're shown. Because see how these artillery are shown. I guarantee you they gave a fire order directly on a French unit. And that makes them light up. Um, click your unit. You have a little targeting icon. Click behind, like right here. Click right behind the unit and your artillery will be a little bit more accurate. And it won't show them where your artillery is. You don't want them to light up. So, just, just friendly advice from, you know from uh, Kingston. <laughs> now, the, the French have still slogged along here. They're, they're definitely going for a far flank. Um, the French artillery is just getting up. I think they're just... They're just uh, playing... They're just trying to get all their artillery in position, I think. Uh, the skirmishers, though, pushing up to get some fire. You got some Swiss... Volti or, uh, Voltigers. Just some skirms. I'm actually making some Swiss skirmishers minifigures, some Perry minis figures. Although mine look a little bit different. I think it's a different regiment than this one, but these look pretty nice. I'm actually doing I'm doing the uniform still with the red, but it's gold epaulets and a blue. Of course, the blue, yeah, the blue uh, center, but then it's not a yellow collar. It's a blue collar, and the hat is black. Oh, it's actually like this guy's hat. And then he has a little saber on the back with the little, you know, uh, this cartridge thing's on the right here, but there's a little saber as well, but looks pretty similar. Looks pretty similar for sure um, We still have a lot of cab just kind of hovering um, this French army kind of staying on the defensive Probably the coalition is pushing the troops across you got to remember guys the in coalition will win if the French don't make an attack at some point in the future 
that's just because the LOCs favor the coalition and it is supposed to be an attack for the Imperials. Um, I can't remember, I think, and Data L was in this one, he's the one who actually had posted it. I think he was saying that some of the players are newer, so, you know, you got you gotta you gotta understand it, it's a lot for a newer player and uh they will do as good as they can um it's best to play as they are playing with some more experienced players and uh you know that's how you get better so any ooh, nice fire see this artillery piece is definitely i guarantee you aiming behind the guns this one and that's also a guard artillery i'm pretty sure 12 pounders they are going to destroy this artillery piece Guaranteed. Here we go. Watch this. They're gonna fire. See, they're they're a lot more accurate than this one, which is probably not gonna do a ton of damage. Ooh, look at that though. Let's follow these. Didn't kill a single soul. Not a single one. Oh, hold that thought. We have some cab engaging here. Going for some poor sappers. <laughs> um, but they break them anyway. Yeah, the Prussians, they're just harassing. They're just harassing the French at this point, and France doesn't seem to mod push. However, we do see Swedish advancing, so they've basically waited until the Swedish have gotten up. And maybe they can goad the coalition into an attack here. Maybe they can goad them into making a rash decision. Um, the real question I have, does this French army have its general? And uh, if not, where is it? They may be trying to go for a sneaky flank, which means no, um, no general so that they can't see this whole force. I'm excited to see this flank. It's going to roll up. I guarantee you take this hill and then they're probably going to push from two sides, maybe a coordinated attack on two sides. I am excited to see this flank. Um, push across. I'm very excited to see it. But we may have to check in once again, guys, unless the coalition make an advance, which is like they're not really... Um, the Imperial's actually fallen back a little bit. We're going to check in in a little bit once again. So see you in a second. So some developments here. This artillery, the French, uh, the Russian artillery, um, he made a, a fatal mistake. He limbered up his artillery to run away, which would not have been very smart. He should have just, like, taken his guys off and uh, run away. They tried moving and he got shot while on the move and it killed him. Um, also, the attack is happening. This is, this is kind of interesting here. So if you notice, the huge attack now pressing against this one eight pointer, the same time a massive flank by the nine pointer. Artillery set up strategically here to pin down the site and then they can push across. They just got to take this and they can start rolling back. They can actually roll all the way back to these hills way over here if needed. But yeah, the, the Austrians, or not the Austrian, gosh. The Swedish are making a huge push with Prussian support. And this Prussian army is huge land wear. Land bear. Huge amount of land bear. So nine point rush Prussia is sitting on this side um, with some, may, maybe 10 point Prussia as well. There is some light infantry, some guard units, some line infantry mixed in here. The obvious flank pushing here. Um, I'm curious to see what the coalition, the Imperials are going to do. They got to send some reinforcements here. And yep, 11 pointer is going to push across. Um, the nine pointer still pushing here, guys. I would, I'm curious what's going to happen here. This nine pointer is going to have to make the fight by himself. He may have to even push some troops up here to hold the enemy in place and then roll across this hill. I think that flank's going to work beautifully. They already have a foothold across the river. Um, so, hey, oh, X, oh my gosh. Huge cab fight. It is a huge cab charge. A ton of Prussian and Russian cavalry engaging with the Dragoons here. Um, the first wave of Prussians repulsed, and now the Russians are uh, trying to fall back so as to not lose their Dragoons. France hot on their heels. And we may have a Lancer capture. Oh, France, fall back. Just don't take the rest of the fight. You won the initial one, just fall back. Well, I mean, that's a nice charge by Prussia. France should cut their losses at this point and not keep pushing. They have General rushing over. 
This year's actually this is the, the other general on the side trying to make sure this unit stays in the fight. They need this cab if they want to win this. But here we go. We got a huge push by the Swedish. Heavy is going against some poor skirms. And oh my goodness, look at the French pushing forward, the Prussians and Swedish pushing forward at the same time. They main business. Um, there's a slight slope, which will be an advantage for the Imperials. Um, now, Russia may try to push across this river and attack on the flank, which is quite honestly what they should do. They should push across here. There's a whole French flank just staring them down. They could easily win. Now, France, I think... Russia has seen it. The ruse is up. These guys are, they're, well, they're hidden, but I'm sure they're going to notice this push. Um, but yeah, the, the huge push here by the coalition and uh, the French are going to have to try to hold as well as they can. Sweden is going to do a decent job, I think, of shooting them up. So I'm curious what the French will do. Oh, a French, poor this poor French arm line infantry is just left. Totally forgotten. Rip. Rip the sixth. But here we go. Do we have... Nope, they're not. I thought Russia would push across. These are such good units. They have two guard units, a light infantry unit, and a regular line infantry unit. They could push across right here. Push some cabs to support it and just push across. You gotta defeat the French here before this French army rolls the Prussians. Either that or pull these guys back to meet this friend. Yeah, here we go. They're pushing across. Ooh, as their artillery is pounding them. Oh, Russia, don't take that. Don't take it. Don't take it. This is concerning, though. The flank. I mean, this, this cab actually would easily, should be able to roll over these land there pretty easily. Um, let them get engaged and then roll them with your cab. Uh, you can see France just in time. Ooh, they're getting the truly airs up too. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. Excellent. Some truly airs gonna take the line here. Um, let these guys have a rest. I am not sure what's happening here. But we may have some cab. Yep, going for the artillery piece. Can they save it? Nope. It is 120 men, though. But they, I guarantee you, watch how fast they're going to die. They're going to get caught in between all this. 90, 80. Oh, 88. Okay, they'll be all right. Still, though, not the greatest, most ideal thing. Now we do have the French successfully rolling over. Having met no resistance, the Prussians actually going to fall back to this hill. I mean, I would have... Uh, Prussia, I would have held some artillery infantry right here to harass this flank and held the main line here um, just to stop them. You just got to delay the French until hopefully the coalition takes this. Although Sweden seems to be getting uh, viciously thrown back now, taking some losses. And France is actually counterattacking with the Trilliers. So uh, the coalition definitely going to totally fall back. Wow. They don't want to take that fight. Russia was pushing across to help out, but now it seems like they are not. I find it interesting this small nine-man unit of Cav is going to clash with the Russians and hope to do something. Not going to work very well for them. France still pushing across. This flank has worked very successfully for them, and they are holding. In fact, it looks like they are actually counterattacking here. Um, they are going to definitely catch the lumbering, slow Prussian units. Come on, stop glitching out. This is a beautiful shot. If they just would stand still and not, like, lag out. There we go. Oh, we have some Cav hitting... Hitting this line already, and you can see the land there not going to do too hot. Now, if Prussia can turn around and get a point blank volley on France, this will be a disaster. Um, but they are going so slowly. 
they're gonna start losing especially with the cav harassing this french army is gonna definitely close in rapidly brush any sacrifice one or two units because this is gonna turn into a ooh. i mean prussia has a line here but their center is so weak in france is so hot on the heels here now they are getting charged by some cavalry trying to slow him down let's see if it can work let's see france is committing quite a lot of forces here over on this side russia falling back across the river prussia still rushing to their house this is the closing in of the forces and uh honestly guys this is how you do it this is how you assault see the wave upon wave upon wave you push four troops there we go with the bayonet the trillier is going in on several fronts here charge give him the cold steel and prussia's gonna start breaking they need to pull this line back and reform in the road their ally egypt supporting to make sure they don't get outflanked by sweden and this Prussian army is going to it's going to start turning into a route here. Here we got more cab now charging in against the land bear. Oh, this is death. I mean, Sweden's going to try to save the the army, but at this point it's over and Prussia is just unable to super well react. They need to fall back entirely. This side needs to fall back. They need to send in this heavy cav. Sweden needs to fall back. In my opinion, Sweden needs to run immediately. Oh, their artillery is even on the other wrong side of the river. They need to fall back to try to hold this river crossing. Um, and at this point, it, it... Man, guys, the coalition just got outmaneuvered so badly. It's not like they even... I mean, over here, obviously, they've lost big. The moment they started falling back and the French counterattacked, it was over. Definitely over. France is just going to start hitting them from every side of Cav. And this is the death of an army. Nice counter shots, though. Man, they really taken out of these Westphalian cavalry. But the French are just going to constantly be pressing forward the attack. They cannot let the French or the Prussians get a rest. And it does look like some of the Prussians are going to get away here. And now with Heavy Cav massing up and these Trulliers not able to form square. He's going to push up his cab, but he's got to be careful not to lose this flank. None of his infantry can form square. He's got to take a cautious approach. Let Egypt try to maybe press the Swedish and isolate the Prussians. If they can keep pressing along this angle, they can isolate the Prussian army and then surround and destroy. Even with the cab, especially the cab. That is just makes it all the more tempting of a target to isolate and destroy. France is now going to be able to push across the river. Um, they have reserves here. They can push across. They can cut into the city and surround them with a French army entirely rolling around. Um, this may not be a close fight, but I think it's still enjoyable to watch the maneuvering. The reason I like this game, the maneuvering. They, The French took their time and they got maneuvered, but all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it's like the French were just everywhere. I'm sure the coalition was shocked to see a French army advancing on the flank. They probably thought it was all here in the center. Um, now you can see the co the Prussians are actually managing to get themselves away just a little bit. Sweden holding bravely so as to let their ally get away. They need to keep falling back. They need. To, hopefully they're telling the ally, keep running, like run. <laughs> I can't hold forever. My line's going to start breaking against Egypt. Egypt has way chunkier units. And Sweden can't hold this forever. They have artillery trying to set up as well. France is coming at an angle. Um, wow. Okay, what is Sweden doing? I mean, sorry, Prussia, what are they doing? They're running into the French. The French, yes, the French sit right here. They can pour into them. Oh, they're going to trap them. Now we have Russia making their brave stand here. Do they have LOC? Yeah, they do. But France is going to go in for it. I'm surprised the coalition didn't try holding by the LOC. They made it way more painful for the French attacking because now France doesn't have to worry about a volley's being poured in while they're trying to go in and melee. Um, I feel like the coalition should have fought a little harder for the town. Like, even right here. 
They should have fought around this area a little bit harder. Oh, artillery crashing down. This is looking pretty grim, guys, already. Oh, the Prussians have been caught. Half their army has made it across. They took it already? This fight should have raged way longer. Nice skirms, too. My goodness. And now, oh man, they're running away. Our men are running, sir. This is huge. We do have the French closing in again against Sweden and Prussia now. Oh, they threw in the Grenadiers. These guys look so intimidating and they look awesome with the white. Oh, more French infantry rushing in. It is, it's, it's over for Prussia. I'm, I'm sorry, Prussia, you're dead. Land Bear cannot stand. Nice flaking volleys though. They're pressing the attack. Oh my goodness, okay. The one problem I see with this is they stacked one cab unit behind the other. They are breaking the French. Holy smokes, they're breaking the French. But here comes the French counterattack. The heavy is gonna take this charge head on. Try to hold this line. More heavies pushing in. But uh, Prussia's getting surrounded here. This Prussian cab needs to rush in and save their army, which holy cow, it broke. And Sweden is now getting caught out. France continually charging. Ooh, they're going to hit some Seaguard. We have a cab charge. Oh, beautifully done. They are going to kill so many skirms right there. Um, but France is constantly pushing. Russia still trying to hold. Russia's trying to get themselves across this bridge, across this river. Um, one Prussian army is half dead. They still have their other part of their army here, but Sweden seems to be about to die. Yeah, they're about to die here. Got some Polish. Oh yeah, look at this cat fight raging. Prussia is basically gone. Um, they try going for a flanking charge. I mean, they have a general close by. And they have more cab rushing forward. So maybe they will win this one. Oh, don't don't charge your heavies in the back, though. Oh, they're going for the crossiers. Ooh, France may actually lose. Oh, no. France is going to lose this cab fight. May will it be enough, though? Will it be enough with the cab dominance? Your army's basically gone, though. Um, Russia seemed to send in some troops. Yeah, Sweden is almost obliterated. They try making a last desperate stand to try to defend the Prussians who are still retreating over here. They do have cab dominance, though. Um, let's see what's happening here. Is Russia... Ooh, we have a bayonet charge. Yep, going to go on the flank. These light infantry about to get just shot to pieces. Here we go. The men of the as France is going to constantly be pushing around the flank here. Russia bravely making their stand still as France starts pressing across the river. They get across the, the bridge and, uh, oh, Prussia's going back. It seems like Prussia doesn't know exactly what to do, but Prussia should try to hold this river and then tell Russia to start falling back. Russia needs to fall back. Uh, they need to hold this area here. If their last desperate stand, this Prussian army is going to start get getting surrounded here. This cab needs to rest up. And uh, maybe they can make this work. France seems a little too much still. France has too many the units. They have reserves that are system. fresh. They have a, an entire flank. Why aren't they just going for the bayonet? The artillery, you can see, just pounding this French, this Russian line. Going for the guard units. Here we go, France going in on melee. And more and more French gonna charge across here. What what a what a end result here. Sweden's gonna try to get the rest of their troops across. 
Prussia seems to have mostly extracted themselves. If they can get their cav over here and they can hold, maybe, just maybe, they can hold this side. I don't think it's enough. I think the coalition, even in a shootout, if the Imperials don't try to go for the bayonet, they have plenty of forces. They could keep placing them. This Russia doesn't seem to want to try to adjust their fire at all. They're just kind of standing here getting flanked on two sides. They need to pull back their center immediately. Uh, it's too late. It's too late. Maybe if they sacrifice this one unit, they can pull back these three center units. But France is in... Russia let themselves get encircled. They let this happen to themselves, in my opinion. They let their artillery just hammer them. I don't know. I feel like they could have done something different here. They had some... They have some really good units. But instead, they're just gonna get flanked here. That's a pity. All right, well, that Rush, that Russia's army's dead. Um, we do have a Prussian slash Swedish, plus a slightly weakened, or not slightly, massively weakened Prussian army here. Hopefully, they're, are they gonna fall back or are they gonna stand on this side? Russia got away, and they actually have a unit here in this LOC. These guys may inflict some heavy losses um, on the French as they advance. But holy smokes, look at this French, look at this Russian last stand. There's the mass route, there's the mass route you're looking for. Now Prussia has to deal with uh, two river crossings. Um, yeah, they got to deal with two river crossings. Okay, what is Prussia doing? Prussia, reunite with your ally. Don't don't isolate. They're isolating themselves. Why are they doing this? Why? I'm trying to figure this out. I get maybe they're trying to put pressure on this French army. These French units are hidden. So maybe they think they can take on this one French army that's here. But they have to know that there are more French units over here. There's a general sitting right here. They have to know it. Where's the cab? Where's the Prussian cab? Oh, it's hidden right now. So now we come down to the last stand here. Um, as France is going to push forward to attack. Yep. Oh, hold that thought. We have some Prussian cavalry going in again. Unfortunately, no square formed. This cav. Prussia seems to be doing a decent job with their cav. Um, now that they're engaging with Prussia, they need to send the cav and start tying him down. And France. It would be a suicide, probably, to push across this bridge. Prussia is obviously waiting, um, but they can start maybe trying to... If they can defeat this army, they can roll from two sides, and it won't matter um, about that flank. More artillery is starting to come up. I think they're going to try to do the long and steady blastering of the enemy. Oh, look at this. The French going in with that assault column again. Oh, guaranteed assault column. Cavalry in the back lines. Here, this is how you do it, guys. Look at this. This, this If you see this as France, or against, if you're fighting against France and you see this stacked, like, stacked lines like this, run. 
or get cav or grid gears ready because the French are about to melee you. See, this is how you do it. You push forward, then you have your reserve behind. You push them forward. I mean, I think Prussia does. Prussia probably knows. Oh no, they should have stayed there. Because now France can get free. Like, France could keep advancing here, and no one's shooting them. No one is shooting them. Oh, they're going to get pre charted. Yep, yep. You look at this. France is running their for fruit troops forward. This is a... This is a amazing attack. Here we go. Oh, it's charging, and no one got a fire. Russia should just let the troops to shoot. Now, they do have Cav pushing forward here, but still, France is going to go in, and the mass route is just going to affect... Prussia. We do have Prussian Cav charging in, trying to defeat the side. Where are they going? Oh, Prussia, no. They're going to get shot in the side. Now, they get a small volley off. It's not going to be enough. And this isn't even the elites. The Trilliers guys are in the back line still waiting to make their move. Another cap charge on the plate, though. But this is it, guys. Russia's death. All men are running for this is literally this, which I, this is Data L playing this one. This is 101 to how to defeat Prussia. <laughs> Especially if it's a land bear spam. That is exactly how you need to do it. How they did it even over here and over here. Um, for, yeah. Unfortunately, it looked like Russia made that aggressive push. Didn't Maybe they didn't scout enough. I don't know exactly what their mindset was. But when they start retreating, they are slower than the French. And if they can't stand there and shoot the French as they push forward. Even if they can stand there and shoot the French as they come forward. France may take a couple more losses than they would. But they can still beat them. So, if anything, France maybe would have, t uh, like, had less of an army, but I think it still would have been the same outcome. Now, if you ask the question, how do you win as Prussia? It, it's circumstantial. Like, in a situation like that, you just don't get close enough unless you have a lot of cav, infantry reserves, grenadiers, or, like, say, yeah, Russia, or, I don't know. You got, you got to stay your distance enough away and have cav support enough to where you can stop the French cav from charging you. Maybe I'll make a video and discuss it, but... It is tough playing as Prussia. It is not an easy faction to play, which is why I think it's fun to play it. But it's it, it you lose more times than you win, I feel like. Just because the morale, the melee, the movement speed, it's just too much. And now France probably is going to roll. I would roll across this France. I would just roll up here. Prussia is diverting all the rest of their forces as France is going to start following up that defeat here. They're even hitting some units coming across the river. But well, here we go. Still, I, I enjoyed the battle. I hope you guys did too. Kojin um, didn't play necessarily sloppy I, at all. I think they just... I, I have had this... I've made that same mistake. You push, and then once you realize your mistake, you know, what do you do? What do you do at that point? That is the pivotal moment. The one, the moment the Prussians retreated, it was over. Like I said before, they, they, they couldn't stand there and shoot because they, they were walking the wrong way. And to stop and turn around by that time, France is right in your face. And uh, these guys, the land bear, don't have a good enough accuracy and reload skill and all to actually be able to uh, get a good deadly ball. You need some guard units, you need some light infantry units, some grenadier units to counter charge the French. Some cab, which they did have, but I think it was too far away. It needs to be by your infantry. Um, France is going to now attack the Prussian, not box, but survival defensive survival formation here that's facing in all directions. Just some Saxons here. Oh, these poor second. Oh my gosh, see? That's 
desperately need. See, France is trying to get close now. They're going to go for melee, and with these guys already getting a, a volley off, they can definitely get into that melee. There's the Grenadiers. Prussian Grenadiers. These guys would be what was needed. Holy smokes, it's over. Look at this Prussian defense, though. To their, to their other regiments. Oh, we see the general. Oh, is that a general? Is that cap? Oh, it's such a mess. How would you even know? You know, imagine being a Prussian troop. How would you even know? Oh, my goodness. Like, imagine, imagine being in the middle of this fight, like, say, even right here. There's so much happening. There's cap here. There's units charging you. There's units on the side behind you. You see French banners behind you, in front of you. I mean, how would you even know, you know, what is even... <laughs> the confusion and chaos is real. But I think that is the battle. Um, well done by France, that maneuvering... Um, unfortunately, Russia didn't know about this attack until they pushed across, and when they pushed back across, they weren't ready to uh, take this French flank, and Prussia just, they were right here, and they just, boop, they ran away so fast. Um, but yeah, that's the battle. Um, I don't, there's no results, unfortunately, for this one, and hopefully that gets fixed at some point. Until then, you know, we just won't have the results of all the other teams. Uh, but yeah. Maneuver outmaneuvered and outcharged. That is the game winning strategy that won the French that victory. They they managed to hit two sides at once. Both flanks worked. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you all so much for joining me. Um, thank you all for your support on this channel. As always, your comments, likes, just watching my videos is the best amount of support I could ever think of, you know? But, uh, you know, I enjoy hearing from you guys, too. So, um, yeah. Um, until the next time, guys, you all stay safe. Have a great rest of your day, and I will catch you all in another video.